mothers, you know that Anne's parents are coming to Marvi Jean Michel's family. Well, I thought it might be nice if they had his mother there with him. But of course I'll be there. Where else would I be? Not you, Alpha. Sybil. <laughs> Sybil. Jean-Michel's mother? By Sybil, Jean-Michel's mother. Do you mean that? That when she seduced you one night backstage at the Lido in Paris? That harlot who once every three or four years thinks to send her flesh and blood son a birthday card? Always, I might add, on the wrong day. That's the one. Without threats or tantrums, I tell you now. If that woman comes, you die. <laughs> if it were only that easy. <laughs> what right does everyone have to come bugging into the boy's life now? Where has she been all the years when he was growing up, when he really needed his mother? Never I'll tell you where. Huddled in any corner of the world, in any corner of the room, with every kind of man she could lay her hands on. That's where she was. Yes, but never but I think of the times he wrote her, called her, begged to see her, and always the same reply. Sorry, darling, I'm too busy. <coughs> Nevertheless, she is his mother. She did carry him for a certain amount of time. Well, I would have delivered him sooner. <laughs> Not to your doorstep. Well, nonetheless, I've called her. She's coming. And what else, George? I can tell by your face when something's troubling you. You might as well give me all the bad news at once. Who else have you invited to this soiree? It's not the invited that worries me. Excuse me, what? Tonight of all nights, there has to be a full moon. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? You've had to wear that cloak. Don't you lie? Yes. And on top of that, you've had to wear that particular blue. But it's your favorite shade. I know. <laughs> George, please. We're in public view. I must be insane. I think that after 20 years you can still bring a blush to me. You old fool. Do you recall that windy little beach we walked along? That afternoon in fall, that afternoon we met. A fellow with a concertina sang. What was that song? It's strange what we recall and what, what we forget. I heard a lot of la 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 as we walked on the sand. I heard a la 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 la. I believe it was early September. Through the crash of the waves, I could tell that the words were romantic. Something about sharing, something about always. Though the years race along, I still think of our song on the sand. And I still try and search for the words I can barely remember. Though the time tumbles by, there is one thing that I am forever certain of. I hear la 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 I
something about always. The years raise along, I still think of our song on the sand. And I still try and search for the words I can't really I'm not too sure about the crash of the waves, this being the Mediterranean. Basically, you are correct. This is all about love, this wedding. Not jealousies or old wounds. So, Sybil can come. And the three of us shall bear witness to our son's marriage together. Hand in hand. In hand. Oh, no, 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 it's later, Shelley. I must keep my arguments waiting. Tonight, for the first time in his life, he asked me on time. Oh, how bad. Just a little surprise. I hear 